Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today is going to be a uh, rules video and a bit of an info on a new series and Road to Glory series I am going to be doing in FIFA 18. Uh, we're going to do an interactive Road to Glory where you guys can uh, win some prizes from it and help contribute to the uh, series as well as uh, me playing a regular Road to Glory so it is unique in some ways but uh, we'll have that normal aspect to it. So. In this road to glory, you will have to develop your FIFA 18 Ultimate Team through only opening packs and completing SBCs. You cannot buy a player unless he is needed for an SBC or is given as a reward, which we'll go through in a minute. You can attain players through opening packs with coins, through free packs um, or as SBC rewards, but also as uh, rewards from playing games. Uh, if you wish to upgrade a player that has a higher rated special version, then they have to have played at least 50 games for the club. An example of this is uh, David Louise. So if we have David Louise uh, and there's an informed David Louise that comes out and we want to upgrade our normal David Louise to the informed David Louise, then uh, our normal David Louise must have played at least 50 games for our club, otherwise we cannot upgrade him. Um, it says 100 games there as well, but I meant 50. So also guys, you cannot buy club items or staff, only consumables. So now we're gonna uh, get into more of the uh, more of the detailed stuff and some of the rewards we can win um, and how we can upgrade players in different ways apart from uh, packs and SBCs. So if we get into the first one we have a single player um, season uh, rewards so you can see there if we uh, clinch the title in Division 10 offline then we get a rare bronze upgrade so that's any uh, rare bronze player that we like. If we gain promotion we can get a non-rare bronze upgrade, obviously they're not great uh, rewards due to the fact that it's only in Division 10. Uh, and I'm going to skip out the next few divisions there because they're not really important. We're just going to skip through uh, to the top three divisions. So offline, um, these offline divisions will be played off camera and I'll just show you the results and how I've got on. Due to the fact that online gameplay is uh, more um, wanted on YouTube and offline isn't really wanted that much. So. In Division 3, if we were to get relegated, we'd get a non-rare gold player. Um, if we were to uh, avoid relegation in Division 3, we'd get a rare gold player that is uh, 79 rated or lower. If we were to gain promotion to Division 2, we'd get a gold player rated 80 or lower. And finally, if we were to win the Division 3 title, then we would get um, a, gold, a rare gold player 81 rated or lower. Division 2, if we got relegated, um, then we get a rare gold player 78 rated or lower. If we were to avoid relegation, we get a rare gold player 80 rated or lower. Game promotion, we get a rare gold player 81 rated or lower. And finally, if we were to clinch the Division 2 title, we'd uh, get a special upgrade of 81 rated or lower. So that's any inform or special card. Or we have the choice of getting a rare gold player that's 82 rated or lower. And then finally, offline in Division 1, obviously you can't gain promotion, so that's not available. But um, if we were to get relegated in Division 1, we'd get a rare gold player 80 rated or lower. If we were to uh, avoid relegation, we'd get an 82 rated or lower player. And then finally, if we were to win the Division 1 title offline, we'd get any special uh, inform or special card we want or a uh, rare gold uh, player that's 84 or lower. Now, moving on to the online gameplay uh, rewards. I'm going to skip out most of them and just do the top three again. Um, if we were to get relegated from Division 3, we'd get a non-rare gold uh, player. Avoid relegation, we'd get a rare gold player, 79 rated or lower. Um, game promotion, we'd get an uh, 80 rated or lower player. Um, if we were to clinch the Division 3 title, we'd get an 80, uh, 81 rated or lower player. Relegated from Division 2, we'd get a 78 rated or lower. It's all mainly the same, guys, so if we just check out Division 1, uh, you can see that if we get relegated from Division 1, we get an 80 rated player or lower. Um, if we uh, avoid relegation, we actually get a 82 rated or lower. And then uh, the only difference is we get an 85 or 86 rated player or a special card from winning the Division 1 title. But I might change that a bit to make it a bit better because Division 1 is hard to win. So there's Division Rewards. Moving on to the Foot Draft Rewards. If we were to uh, go out in the round of 16 of the foot draft, we'd get a silver player or lower upgrade. Uh, if we were to go out in the quarter final, we'd get a non rare gold player. If we were to go out into the semi final, uh, go out in the semi final, we'd get a rare gold player that's 80 rated or lower. Uh, and if we were to lose in the final, we'd get a rare gold player 82 rated or lower. And then finally, guys, if we were to win the foot draft, we'd get a rare gold player that's 84 rated or lower. 
I'm sorry this is all just a lot of information guys but you're just going to have to read it you can, you can pause at any time to read it if I am going a bit quick now into the SBC rewards in this series you will get rewards for completing SBCs based on their difficulty and price so if it's a one part SBC um, that would be one the way you only have to um, trade in 11 players so just one squad obviously a four part SBC would be something like marquee matchups in which you have to submit uh, four different squads and obviously a, a 20 part one say would be like a Premier League uh, SBC in which you have to submit all the different teams but if we complete a one part SBC that costs less than 3k we get a silver player um, a one part SBC that costs between 4 and 20k we get a rare gold player 79 rated or lower a one part SBC that costs more than 20k we would get ourselves a rare gold player that's 81 rated or lower and then if we got a two to four part SBC completed that costs less than 40k we'd get a rare gold player 82 rated or lower and then finally for this part one if we were to do a two to four part SBC that costs more than 40k we'd get an informed player 82 rated or lower so that's pretty decent uh, to fill out our squad there just by doing some SBCs but obviously they would cost a lot of money complete as well so the ones over 40k so depends if it's worth it or not and then part two if we were to complete a five to six part sbc that costs less than 40k we'd get a rare player uh, a rare gold player that's rated 83 or lower if we were to complete a five to six part sbc that costs more than 40k we'd get an inform uh, player that's 83 or lower or the option of having a rare gold player that's 84 or lower and then finally guys if we would complete a more than six part SBC for example the Premier League one uh, or any of the league ones that range from like 14 to 24 uh, parts we get an informed player rated 84 or lower or the choice of getting a rare gold player 85 rated or lower so that's all the SBC rewards down moving on to foot champions weekly rewards so if we have finished top 100 weekly we would get ourselves any two in forms that we like and uh, or the choice of any three um, gold upgrades. If we'd finish Elite 1, we'd get any Inform upgrade or any two rare gold upgrades. Elite 2 would get us any Inform upgrade rated 85 or less, or any rare gold player rated 86 or less. Elite 3 would get us any Inform upgrade rated 84 or less, or any rare gold upgrade rated 86 or less. Gold 1 would get us any Inform rated 83 or lower, or any... Um, gold player rated 85 or lower and then finally for part one we have gold two if we'd finish in gold two we'd get any inform upgrade rated 82 or lower um, or any rare gold player rated 85 or lower so they're the first half of the tiers that we could finish in weekend league and then if we move on to the other ones now we can see that if we were to finish gold three uh, for the week we'd get any gold player rated 84 or lower silver one we'd get any gold player rated 83 or lower Silver 2 would get any gold upgrade rated 82 or lower. Um, silver 3 would get any gold upgrade rated 81 or lower. Bronze 1, uh, any 80 rated or lower player. Bronze 2, any 79 rated or lower player. And then Bronze 3 would get us any bronze or silver player that we like. So that's Weekend League uh, and Foot Champs done. Oh no, it isn't, sorry. Monthly rewards. Top 100 monthly would get us any three in forms that we like or any five rare gold players. Elite would get us any two informs or any three rare gold players. Gold would get us any inform or any rare gold upgrade player. Silver would get us any gold upgrade rate player rated 82 or lower. And bronze would get us any gold uh, rated player rated 80 um, or lower. But obviously top 100 is very, very unlikely. So that's where the rewards are so high. Now foot champs is done. And we can move on to how you can get involved in the series. So during the road to glory you the viewer will be able to contribute to the series and help the club and also improve the players through views likes and subscribers um the top player comment every week will be the next player purchased in the series so that means guys if i ask you to buy me a player or suggest a player for me to buy in the next episode uh, given that we are allowed to do that the comment that has the most likes on a player will be the next player that is bought however if there are no comments uh, or player suggestions or none of the comments have any likes i will choose the player um also the viewer that is most useful to the series over the week will receive 5k uh, this involves useful comments likes but you have to be a subscriber that is the only rule so uh player player suggestions just uh constructive criticism or anything that you like about the video uh the person that contributes the most will get 5k i'm sorry though that is only on xbox 
uh, as that is the console that I am on. So sorry to PS4 players. Um, and if you are the player or the person, um, you will get a shout out in the video, and I will contact you at the end of the video, and uh, we can sort out how to get you the 5k. Also, I'll give you the 5k after tax as well, so you probably have to list a pay for about five and a half k, and then I'll be able to get your coins. So yeah, that's the first part. Now the next part is how you can actually contribute to the series rather than what you can get from the series. So weekly rewards. If the channel is uh, able to get three subs or less, um, well no, if they're able to get at least three subs in a week, well, you get a rare gold player that's 82 rated or lower. If you can get more than five subscribers uh, in a week, we can get a gold uh, player rated 84 or lower for the club. If we get over a hundred view, well, if we get at least a hundred views on all the Road to Glory videos in the week, we'll get at least an 82 rated uh, player or lower. And if we get over 200 views on all the Road to Glory videos, we get an 84 rated or lower player. If we get 20 likes on the Road to Glory videos, we get an 83 rated or lower player. And then finally, if we're able to get over 40 likes on all the Road to Glory videos, uh, we get a upgrade of an 85 rated or lower player. Uh, which is pretty decent and then moving on like foot champs we've got monthly rewards as well as weekly rewards if we're able to gain 10 subscribers over the month we get an informal upgrade that's 84 rated or lower if we can gain more than 25 subscribers in the month which is very unlikely we can get any inform on the game that we like or special card every time it says inform guys that just means special card in general uh, and if we get uh, over if we get a total of 600 views on all the road to glory videos in the month we get an inform rated 83 or lower uh, and if we get over 800 views, which again is very unlikely, we get an inform rated 86 or lower. And then finally, guys, we've got the likes. If you're able to get at least 40 likes on all the Road to Glory videos, we get an inform upgrade rated 84 or lower. And finally, if we get over 100 likes, again very unlikely on all the Road to Glory videos, we are able to get ourselves any inform player or special card for the club. So, that is a lot, guys, to take in. There is lots of rules. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, if you want to go back and check any of it, you can. I also will be re-uploading this video at the start of FIFA 18, just so you guys can refresh yourselves. Um, also, feel free to subscribe now because uh, the person that is most uh, most useful to the channel uh, in regards to likes and comments, etc., will be getting 5k uh, at the start of FIFA when it comes out before the first episode. So you will be featured in the first episode of the FIFA 18 Road to Glory and you will get yourself 5k. Um, so you need to get commenting now guys, get liking and get subscribing and I will be able to contact you to give you 5k when the first video goes live. Um, so yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed. As I've said, it is going to be, I have just talked at you for near enough 13 minutes now. Um, and I hope you've taken a lot of it in there. Just going to be the rules for the Road to Glory. A bit of a waffly video, but I hope you get the gist of it. If there's anything you're unclear about, comment down below and I'll try and clear it up with you. And also, if you have any suggestions or rule changes that you think would benefit the series, also let me know down below. Also, guys, click on any of these videos and you'll be able to see more from me if you would like to. Uh, and if you really like me, you can press on my face there to subscribe. Um, which would help me out a lot and obviously get you part of the way to be able to win 5k when FIFA 18 comes out which is a decent amount for the start of the game but anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching uh, and apart from that guys have a very nice rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video